joined, welcome. Um, thanks for the opportunity, Katia. Uh, I know we've had a couple of discussions in the in the past, and there's always um, requirements for funding in in sort of PV. Um, and hopefully we can we can assist as as nth degree and through our through our funding partners. Um, okay, so so let me kick off. Tell you a little bit about uh, myself and nth degree. Um, uh, basically been in the energy industry since uh, 2003 through a number of uh, organizations um, been involved in uh, energy efficiency projects and a whole lot of uh, commercial DSM uh, top projects um, standard offer standard uh, products top uh, services um, and I suppose through that really um, moved uh, into solar PV in and around uh, 2012, uh, and really always aimed at <clears throat> how we could fund these projects for our customers. And this was sort of to to try and de-risk um, the uh, the customer's side of the transaction. And, and there I'm specifically referring to, you know, a, a lot of people don't understand solar PV and or um, understand that it's not just something you can put on the roof and, and leave. So we try to de-risk it by funding it, providing uh, operations and maintenance on the uh, on the solutions going forward. <clears throat> so I have participated in a number of, um, uh, or brokered a number of uh, commercial and retail projects through various EPCs, companies at the time, um, and utilized or, or used a number of funders to, to broker uh, these these particular projects. Um, so probably completed uh, or brokered around um, close to 10 megawatts of, of solar PV projects and that's um, uh, roof, rooftop commercial projects as well as uh, solar carports. Um, uh, we're looking at the storage initiative now as well. So I think for, for us and for you guys that that might need funding, just to put it out there, I am not a fund, um, but we do have relationships with funders. So we'll try and assist you and your customers to try and get um, the best deal for, for both parties. So the focus is really to, to keep the solution uh, simple, transparent between um, all parties, um, and, then, and then providing hopefully um, the best price for you, the EPC, as well as the, the best tariff to or, or solution, should I say, um, to your customer. Um, how do we achieve this? So we, we aim to achieve this in the following way. Uh, obviously, it's your customers that you that you bring to the party, and we would we would want you to still maintain those those relationships, and we would just support you um, in the consultative role in the selling of a funding solution um, to your particular customer. Um, what we've certainly found in the, in the funding um, side of things is that it's, it's not just a sort of a deal that you can put on the table and the customer is going to accept it. Uh, we found that it's a, it's a, it is a consultative and, and a negotiation process um, with a customer. And, and sometimes the customer may want um, specific uh, things um, to to be included in the fund and that's where we try and try and assist uh, and take that back to the funders so just to outline how we would typically do that is uh, is initially if you had to bring the customer to us um, you you would provide the engineered solution so so that would be what a uh, what is a, what are you looking at putting on the customers roof in terms of the solar size, what will that project yield in terms of kilowatt hours per annum? And as I mentioned there, this can be through through Helioscope or, or PV just to give us those, those numbers. You as the, as the EPC, what is the typical cost of the um, solution? And they have said full and full cost with um, extent warranties and we would need those extended warranties on the inverter side um, for the particular term of the, the fund.
fund. And then the most important part is what is the, the customer information or, or tariff structure. Um, that's really important because obviously the higher the tariff, the easier it is for us to, to attract the funder, um, as well as provide you with, with typically the best um, price into, into the customer or for your full turnkey solution. Um, and then also in the preliminary phase is, is, is what type of funding is required. So, so this is where I mentioned earlier, some, not all customers are the same. Um, some customers might want, want a PPA, some might want uh, rent to own, um, others, others want a shorter term PPA, et cetera. So we'll, we'll try and listen and negotiate with yourselves to give your, a, be, a best fit for what your customers um, requirements are. Once we have all of the above information, then we're able to fairly quickly uh, run a number, a couple of numbers uh, or scenarios for yourselves that you can then present to the customer. We can certainly go along with you um, if, if needs be to go and um, take the customer through the, the uh, relevant funding models. Finalizing the proposal. So once, if the customer likes what he sees in terms of the um, the, the funding that we proposed, um, we then we would then need to do a little bit of a, a credit vetting on uh, on your particular customer. So that would typically include um, customer financials, so typically three years, that we then send to the relevant um, funder who does the credit vetting um, on your specific customer. Um, final costing and yields for the solution. So that would need to be included then <clears throat> as, a, as a final submission to the actual funder. Um, and some funders do require performance guarantees. Um, so your, your solution needs to make provisions for this. So you know, normally 90% of the output per annum <clears throat> needs to be included uh, in, in your solution. Um, that could come with uh, uh, operations and maintenance agreement that you want to tie into that, and we'd certainly want that to be a part of it in any case. So we'd need to understand those numbers uh, in terms of your uh, operations and, and maintenance costs. As mentioned before, the funders will require extended warranties on the inverters for the term of the PPA, so that would definitely need to be included. Um, we know panels um, have a have a longer life or longer warranties and inverters. So once all of that information has been you can go through the contract details uh, between the customer and, and the funder. Um, Let me just... So <clears throat> why why into degree? So as I mentioned, um, we really we are we are not a fund, but we understand solar and we understand the funding um, of solar. We've we brokered a number of these projects for a number of, of customers. Um, and we've certainly seen that not all customers are the same. Um, so um, we try and tailor a solution for the customer to meet those requirements. I think it's also working with yourselves as the, as the EPCs to try and understand what, what you want um, out of the deal and how we can typically broker the best um, offer for yourselves and the, and the customer. A lot of it is based on, um, again, what, what your, your two main um, outputs uh, and the result of, of a fund is your, your yield components. How high is that yield? <clears throat> is it easily achievable? Um, I suppose that varies from Johannesburg to Durban to Cape Town, et cetera. Um, and then again, how high is the customer tariff? Um, if those two uh, components are, are fairly high, then it makes it, it an easier exercise for, for all of us to um, submit into the fund or the funder. Um, but obviously, it puts pressure on on you. So the lower the 
the, the actual tariff, the, the, the more difficult it is. And, and obviously the higher your price and the more difficult it is to relevant funding for that particular project. Um, once we understand all, the, all of the um, parameters um, and have all the costing exercises and have the customers and approvals, it's our, it's our job to then source the fund um, or the funder um, that, that will be willing to take on the, on the project at the various uh, risk levels. So when I say risk levels, it's, it's how the deal is structured in terms of uh, what the customer um, wants. So, so we have a, a number of funders or funds that we that we tap into. These are both local and international funds. All of them have various uh, risk profiles um, that that they're willing to take on uh, or not. Um, and that, so we we try and um, tailor the best fund for your yourself and or your customer. How do we make money out of it? Um, so so in degree. Uh, work of, we work off a development fee in the project capex costs, um, and again, this fee is not paid by by the EPC, but we'll build this uh, development fee um, uh, into the actual funded solution, and and the funder will will settle the development fee um, to to end the week. So this is just a very high level um, view of what we can typically offer. Uh, yourselves um, and your customers, um, and I think it's a it's a fairly risk-free um, solution for yourselves because uh, you know we're not trying to trying to take your customers away from you. We need you to uh, achieve uh, the best solution possible um, for all of us, I suppose. So this was a quick and um, an easy presentation, and I'm not sure if we're we're able to have, or if you guys have any questions that you might want to want to ask, and and if so, then then shoot.